Hey, uh, YouTubes. Target Weld <clears throat> is an add-on I made for merging in edit mode. So once you install it, you get this new little tool right here, and we can now merge like this. So no more pre-selecting elements, going to a menu and finding the right option. Just drag this right here and you're done. You can also hold down the Alt key and it will merge towards the center, as you can see. And this does support multi-select, so we can also select a bunch of vertices and merge them all at the same time, or as we've already seen, use the Alt key to merge towards the center. It also works with edges, so we can merge them like this, like this, like this, or we can hold on the Alt key and merge them towards the center. However, if we Alt click, it will instead collapse the individual edges. So this is the only mode that does not support multi-merge, unfortunately, at least not at this time. Face mode is very similar, except it's gonna merge all the verts in that face to a single point. The main difference here is that we can change what the Alt key does. By default, it collapses, but we can switch it up here to be poke. So we can do that. And again, this works on multiple faces at the same time. I like using it to cap cylinders. Sometimes when doing retopology, I like to enable more than one selection mode at the same time because it allows me to manipulate the geometry much more quickly without ever having to switch between element types. And in this case, target world works just fine. It can switch automatically between verts, edges, or faces without ever having to press one, two, or three. But I want to mention something important. For example, let's say we want to extrude this face right here. We won't usually use any of the tools on the toolbar for that. Once we learn, we can press E and then click to extrude like that. I think that is what most people prefer. So I wanted to implement the same thing in target world. If you want to use the tool version, that is totally fine. But let me show you how to interact with what I call fast weld. So we're going to go to our add-on preferences, target weld, and you'll see two key maps. By default, they should both be unassigned. So the top one is the tool we've been using so far, but fast weld is the one we're going to assign. So I'm going to set this to be Y. So now I can press Y, perform a single merge operation, and then, as you can see, I can't merge anymore. So it's designed to only run once. You don't have to switch any tools or switch back or anything like that. It's just like the extrude we just made. We'll press a hotkey, we'll perform the operation, and we are done. But Mr. Colony, what if I want to merge more than once? Well, Timmy, you can just press that hotkey as many times as you want repeatedly. Or you can press it a single time and then hold on the shift key, and that tells the add-on to just keep the modal alive a little bit longer until we let go of the shift key. Or of course, you can just use the tool version over here. So we talked about key maps, but there's a few other options. For example, colors. We can set the colors to be something like this or this. Hey, it's not bad. If you mess anything up, you can just right click, reset back to default, or you can use these trusty little buttons that I added here, or you can reset the entire block with this button, which I'm not gonna press because I kind of like these colors. We also have some sizing options down here, which don't affect how the tool works, just the thickness and size of everything. So I have it set to 1.25 so you can see it a little better, but if I set it to three, for example, so that's the master scale and everything gets bigger, but you can fine tune things individually. We can, for example, set the text to be comedically large. Okay, maybe I should set some uh, limits on this thing. And uh, why not replace the actual text down here in tool behavior with uh, something like this. So we can see it all the time. I think that is actually the best feature. <laughs> Or we can just disable that text entirely if it bothers you. And if you don't like seeing vertices as circles, you can set them to be squares. So it's quite a simple tool, but it's useful and fun. And more importantly, it's so my users can stop complaining about all the tools that they miss.